WTAJ Sports with Jack Washer. Thought it was probably one of the more complete games um, that we have played in, in our six years. You win a lot of games when teams don't score and we score a lot. I mean, it's just down to basics. Okay, noted. You win more games when you score more points than the other team. Okay, got it. Just having some fun with you, Sean Clifford. And Penn State had nothing but fun last night. From start to finish, the Nittany Lions left no doubt, swatting away Maryland 59 to nothing. Game ended late last night, so let's get you some highlights. It was a sold out crowd at Capital One Field. The Nittany Lion just shaking his thing. Penn State had outscored Maryland 104 to 6 the last two times these teams had played. First quarter, Josh Jackson intercepted by Jan Johnson, setting Penn State up deep in Maryland territory on the ensuing play. Sean Clifford in for the touchdown to put Penn State up 7-0. Later in the first, Clifford finds K.J. Hamler and just watch K.J. go. Oh, my God, he's like a human joystick, breaking ankles, even camera people ankles, in for the touchdown, 58 yards. Penn State up 14-0. Hey, look who it is. Trace McSorley back in the house. He plays at Baltimore, so it was a nice short drive for him. Second quarter now, Clifford to Nick Bowers, 15-yard score. Nittany Lions at this point dominating. It's 28-0. Finishing up the first half, Clifford with a little bloop to Journey Brown. And Brown will know if no one's going to tackle you, you might as well go in the end zone. Penn State led 38-0 at the half. Third quarter, Brown would add another touchdown to his resume to make it, get this, 45 nothing. Sean Clifford pulled, Will Levis comes in, and he would score two rushing touchdowns as Penn State, like I said, finishes off the Terps 59 nothing. Penn State has now outscored Maryland 163-6 to the last three games these two teams have played. Coach Franklin, talk to me. Young team and the maturation process is always is always challenging. Um, it's one thing to do it at home, and it's it's a different thing to do it on the road. But I actually think again, I, and I don't want to beat this kind of with a dead you know I don't, I don't want to beat this dead horse, but I really felt like the way we practiced with the boys that our guys were so comfortable that I actually think the energy in the stadium they fed off it. You know, they fed off it. This game is a, a good stepping stone, but it's not even close to where I want to be. Um, you know, I, I still see a lot of uh, explosive plays that I left up on the board. You know, keep in mind, Clifford threw for almost 400 yards in two and a half quarters, so cheer up.